Welcome, 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 welcome back to OG Reefs and Aquariums. Today is a little maintenance day, so let me show you a little something that's going on. So, first thing we're doing is, let's see here. We got some citric acid. And what it is, it's a safe way to clean your power heads, right? So, we go over here to the bucket. You see you have three power heads. That's actually working in some citric acid and guys if you ever have these um, gyros they're very important to clean because they get loud when they get dirty okay so I got that going let that go for about uh, an hour or so then I come over to the tank here just do a little general maintenance with Tough to get algae to certain places. Good sharp razor blade. Alright, be care make sure your razor blade is sharp. You don't want to scratch your tank. And in the corners, be very careful. You know what? That's it. We're gonna wipe down some lights. So this is the tank as a stand right now. Do I need a filter? Let's see. Let me, let's see. There we go. So everything's doing very well. I did have a couple casualties again. This needs to get glued back in this location here. So I'll do that in one second. And the other big thing I did was I changed salts. So I was using Tropic Moran Pro Reef, but you guys know that it's been some problems with that new facility is killing corals. So I moved to a blue bucket of Red Sea. And let's see if I can show that to you. So this is the balcony. And let's see here. This is the blue bucket Red Sea. It's right next to my auto water change. So I have here water that's ready to go. This hose was drilled through the wall, ran ran along the wall to the tank for out of water change. This is RO top off water, which has kelk washer attempt to raise my pH. So the pH of this water is 12.4.4. It drips via apex dose. And then that's clean water. And this is water you see here from the actual change. That's the inside of the water change. Is the hose is ran along the wall. So this is where my current numbers are standing. You see, I'm at alkalinity 9.22, calcium 4.27, 427, magnesium 12.84. Calcium's a little high, but longest is about your magnesium about three times the CAC. You're okay. That's because I'm dump, I'm dripping kelp washer, which is right here. Actually, I can get that to open up. And that's what I'm dripping over a 24 hour period. And pH is currently sitting at 8.23. Okay, get the rest of my settings here. Other than that, that's the tank. Fairly okay with the development. Like I said, I have a couple casualties. Lost another Walt Disney. Don't know why I can't keep Walt Disney to save my life. Well, other than that, everything's chucking along. Like, subscribe below. Uh oh. Any questions, hit me below. Oh, one more thing I want to do. So, I switched over my pump again to free up my outlet on EB88. I use the SIC, S I C C E now. Uh, apex controlled and you can see your other controls there was in the apex now it's Wi-Fi uses external outlet so it freed up a outlet on my apex uh, power strip like subscribe please hit below help me out brothers I need the subs I need the thumbs up this is the tank next video probably talk about this 
makeup down here. Let's see. It's a lot going on down here, guys. <laughs> 